Okay, today I'm going to show you how to save Conebeam scans and to upload them to the website. And I'm going to show you first how to save in in Vivo 5 by Anatomage, which it should look pretty similar to Treatment Studio, which uses, uses Anatomage software. Treatment Studio is just like a watered-down version of in Vivo for iCat. And so it lo should look pretty similar. So first we go up here to File then save as and if you are using in vivo you can choose this in vivo file and that'll just save it as one file the treatment studio you're gonna have to use a multi-file DICOM so you click here for whatever reason that doesn't work in my version of in vivo it crashes whenever I try to do that so I'm just gonna show you using in vivo and then I'll show you what it would look like if you chose a DICOM file then you choose your file location and what I like to do is just save it to the desktop and make a new folder. So right here, new folder. And this is just to make it easy to find. So you name it the patient name or something you can remember. And then you save it there. And do not do any compression because you'll lose some image quality. So for now, just use full. And this takes a minute to save to the desktop. So while it's doing that, I'm going to show you. Because the website and things will look different in different browsers, and some things are more compatible than others. I know there's some compatibility issues with the uploading software with Internet Explorer. And I've tried to work it out, but Inter Internet Explorer is not the best at doing updates and making things compatible with the latest and greatest software like our image uploader is and because of that you see Internet Explorer is becoming less and less popular it's down to only six and a half percent or you know just a couple of years ago they had a major share of the mar market for people using browsers as you see Chrome has been steadily increasing in the percentage of people using it Firefox is still relatively high but it's been slowly decreasing and the uploader works fine with Chrome or Firefox. I'm not sure about Safari or Opera. Those are Mac browsers that I don't typically use. So now that this is done saving, let's go to the desktop and find that. And just a hotkey here, if you put the, push the Windows D, that'll take you right to the desktop. And here it saved our file under patient name. So we go in here and we see, right, open that we see that in vivo file it's been saved and what it would look like if you did that multi DICOM file option I'll show you that it might look something like this where you have you know several hundred DICOM files and either way is fine, but what might, get, might make it easier, especially if you have the several hundred separate DICOM files, is to zip the folder. That'll reduce the folder size. Here, I'll show you that. Right now that folder size is 241 megabytes, which is pretty big. It's a quarter of a gigabyte. And in order to zip that, you want to right-click it, go to Send To, and then compressed or zipped folder. And what that'll do is just make a compressed or zipped folder of all the same files that are in there. And it'll save it in the same location. Since I'm on the desktop, it just saves it to the desktop. Let's drag that over here. That'll make this easier to upload it. And see, it's what is it? It's less than half the size, so it's going to be more than twice as fast to upload to the website. So here we are in Google Chrome, and I use Google Chrome for most things. Go to our website, go ahead and log in. I'm going to log in as Tony. You see you're successfully logged in, and then this changes to a click here to upload link. So you click that, and I'll give you a pro tip here. Go ahead and start uploading before you fill in the form. That way, while you're filling in the form, it's already uploading. And another pro tip, if you hit the Windows key and left arrow, it'll kind of minimize that window to the left side of the screen. 
then this is just a drag and drop. So you drag that zipped folder and it'll take a few minutes to upload. You see right now it's 9.37, I'm guessing it'll take about three minutes, 9.38, about three minutes for that to upload. So then once you have that uploading, you can go back up here and fill out the rest of the information. Here you'd put the patient name, patient date of birth. Typically we won't be doing a comb beam scan on the date of birth, but I'm just putting in whatever there. Radiologist preference, drop down menu. menu. And you don't have to fill out these notes. But it's good, you know, you put any patient symptoms, anything pertinent to the cone beam scan. And here for additional notes, as it says here, it won't be included in our report. You can write whatever you want that's not going to be included if, if there's something you don't want in the report, like... I haven't seen that yet, but you never know. Then you select a service. The typical one will be cone beam report, which the standard price is $75. Then what I'm going to do so I don't have to pay myself is just do this and leave this at $0. So if you didn't zip that file, you could drag and drop this whole folder into the upload form. It'll just take longer. Like I said, it'll take about more than twice as long because it's not compressed. And you could also drag and drop the, the folder with the in vivo file if that's the way you've saved it. Either way will work for me. I can open up in vivo files or DICOM data. Then you watch this, and once it's uploaded, you see this please wait change to a blue submit button. There we go. So it's ready to submit. Make sure everything is filled out, or you'll get an error. Then you submit, and this just takes a few seconds, and you should get a success message. Case uploaded successfully. That's what you want to see. You know it's gone through correctly. And just to check that it's in there, you view your cases. This one was called Chrome Trial from today. So you know it's in there. Now let's see what that looks like in Firefox. This is the second most common browser. And again, I can hit the Windows and left arrow and that'll just fill up the left side of the screen. And we need to register because it's a different browser. So register as Tony. I'm logged in. You can click here to upload. Or you can go to submit a case. It takes you to the same form, just the uploader form. Again, Windows left key. We're going to drag and drop that before filling out the rest of the form to save time. And it works just the same way. And maybe I'll show you what it would look like if you if you dragged an in vivo file. So if it's an in vivo file, what you might have to do is just drag that file directly. And that works. That looks like it's uploading correctly. If you drag the files without compressing, it's going to take longer. Drag that whole folder in there. It doesn't like that. So for Firefox, you may have to compress it first. And when you get an error, it's better just to back out, go back in, start the form over new. So it looks like for Firefox, it does have to be zipped into a folder for it to work. And you just drag and drop that folder just like in Chrome. Now I'm just going to test it in Explorer. It's not always successful in Explorer, so I highly recommend if you do typically use Explorer, Download either, either Google Chrome or this is called Mozilla Firefox. They're better browsers. They stay more up with the current updates. They're more secure. 
So there's a reason a lot of people are going away from Explorer. But I'm just going to try it to see how it goes in Explorer. First we log in. Successfully logged in. Let's see if I drag that zipped folder. And it looks like it's working fine. Another thing about Explorer, it's slower to upload. So Explorer is just old and clunky. It's slow to do things. It's not as secure. Strongly recommend going to Chrome is my favorite or Firefox. If you insist on using Internet Explorer and it's not working for you, there's another way to get me cases. And this is something I have an account to that you don't necessarily need an account to or sign in. Biobigbox.com. And I don't own this, but this is a this is owned by Blue Sky Bio, an implant company, and it's just a HIPAA compliant file transfer system. You can create an account with them to have a nice little place to send me files, or you can just do it without even signing in. You just enter your email here. Then you can share it with our oral radiologist's email. That's who I have the account through. Oral radiologists at gmail.com. A message referring you a case. Then, like the others, you can just drag and drop the files right in there. And this as well works better once you've zipped it first. So, I would drag the zipped folder or if it's an in vivo file, it's easy enough to just to drag and drop that whole file. And now I've got three things uploading, so it's going to take really long, but I'm just going to cancel this. All right, let's go back to Mozilla. So Mozilla, or the Firefox, there you see in Firefox, it's done. Looks really similar to in Chrome. We hit submit and hope we get that success message. It takes a few seconds. There it is. Case uploaded successfully. So that's what you want to see. And again, to check that, go to your account, view your cases. And that was the Firefox test I just did. So you know it went through. Okay. If you have any questions, click here. You can send me an email. Or go back to the home page, go down here to send me an email. I need to sign in and Outlook to do it. If you don't have Outlook or something set up to automatically email, then you can just copy and paste that email or just remember it. It's just oralradiologists at gmail.com. Or you can give me a call at 617-347-5670. And when I'm logged into the chat, you just click down here and a little chat window will open up and I'll chat with you. So a lot of ways to contact us. A lot of ways to get us. Comb beam files. And we'll see if this works for Explorer. Explorer, a lot of times it looks like it's going to work. It looks like it's uploaded, but then if you don't get that success message, there, we got the message, so case uploaded successfully. Internet Explorer is pretty good if you zip the file first, if you zip that folder and just drag that whole folder up. And there it is, IE test 3. So all of those worked. Chrome, Firefox, as well as Explorer, they work more consistently if you zip the folder first. And these are a small percentage of users use Safari and Opera. I haven't tested them in those. But it should work the same way and again it's probably going to work better if you zip it. If you have any questions give me an email. 
give me a call if you're having trouble with it I can do a zoom meeting or a go to meeting and look at your computer look at what you're doing and, and show you what's the easiest way for you to get us the files so thanks for watching I'm Tony Meekham we'll see you next time